Hijackers are quite annoying on the Amazon platform and they can come out of nowhere. So what are some things you could do to protect yourself so that a hijacker never shows up to begin with? My name is Stephen Pope. I'm the founder of My Amazon Guy. And in this video, I'm going to walk you through some of the techniques that we use to help prevent hijackers. So here's a listing. I've actually had um, unauthorized sellers show up on my listing quite a bit. And that's because I've been selling a pretty commoditized item here with a, with a, some smudge kits, incense. Uh, it was a really great product launch. I was able to get to the top number one in incense new releases. I've uh, generated 300 real organic reviews over the last couple of months since we launched the item. It's been really, really good for us. Um, so it's going well. We've got everything parented. And then, you know, we get people that show up unauthorized trying to sell a ripoff counterfeit version of my product, violating my trademark, violating all of that stuff. Super annoying, right? So I even had to buy uh, some test orders on the 2nd of February to try and track down some of these bad actors and get rid of them. So here is the number one tip I'm going to give you today. I'm just going to give you the most value right now. And that is make sure you have branding in the imagery, the packaging. And even though we have it right here in the secondary image right here, we're going to go ahead and add it as well to the main image and probably just put the box shot in the bottom right. So we're going to have that up and ready probably in the next day. And the reason is, is because I think what's happening is these new sellers to Amazon's platform, they come in and they, they say, hey, I want to sell something. They look at what's got high velocity. So this is a high velocity item. And they say, oh, I, I can sell that. I can source that myself. So then they just hijack the listing and they start selling it. They don't have any reviews on their account. They don't know what they're doing. Typically, these are just mom and pop sellers that don't know any better. So that's like the number one thing that's been happening to my listing. So the number one thing we're doing to fix that is by adding our box with the Age of Sage branding. And we're going to add it into the main image. We already have that on the 12 pack right here. And we can see the horizontal shots of the boxes that it comes in. Um, and we don't have it on the 100 pack, but this one has not been hijacked. Um, but you can see, you know, obviously it's going to come in boxes. So, so that's the number one tip right there. Tip number two, if you have an item that you can put the branding directly on, so you get like a plastic item right there. Notice how the brand is right here. Let's see if we can zoom in there, make it a little easy for everybody to see. So you can see the brand name is right there on the item. So not only is it on the packaging, but it's also on the item. Tip number three, go build your own website. So now I've got ageofsage.us. Couldn't get the .com on this one. And I don't even sell it on the website. All it is is basically just go buy it at Amazon and it's got my branded item in it. You click it, it goes right over to our branded store where people can buy all of our items and all of that good stuff. So having your own website, that can help as well. Um, also, if you actually do get a hijacker and you take a picture of your item, uh, it's got the branding on it or the packaging, you're going to be in really good shape. If you don't have that, at least have the website where you can take a picture to show like, hey, I'm the owner of this website. You can see I link right to Amazon. I'm legitimate. I'm the original owner. Please give me my listing back. Tip number four, get a trademark. This will help so much. This actually takes down about 80% of the hijackers and unauthorized sellers. Um, what happens is if you have the brand registered and you can get the trademark through us, we'd love to help you out with that. We get the trademark over to you within one business day. You can register it and have it fully up and running in under seven days up on the Amazon platform. Uh, we're the fastest place to do trademarks. And, and so if you have the trademark and you have the brand registered on Amazon, then Amazon sees you as the seller of record and gives you precedent with the data. So then when the hijacker shows up and tries to change the data or change the brand name or merge it to their own product, they can't do that. The brand registry just automatically cuts that down. It won't even happen. Another good thing to do on occasion, maybe once every six months, go ahead and just take a screen grab of your Amazon listing to show what it looks like under current circumstances. So if a hijacker ever does show up and tries to change some of the data, you've got that screenshot with the date stamp on it. You can go in and show them. You could also take pictures of the back end of Seller Central to show like, hey, here's my product data. I loaded this. You can see the creation date right here in the screenshot. Those are another other ways that will help you 
uh, regain control from a hijacker if that event ever happens. Um, other things to think about, sometimes you'll have hijackers in other countries you don't care about. Should you worry about those? Yeah, you probably should. And the reason is, is if you're in the U.S. selling and somebody loads your product in Canada and they're just drop shipping from the U.S. into Canada, they might still sell counterfeit goods or hijack the listing and sell something that's not yours. And so you do want to every so often um, set up some alerts so that you can check out who is listed on the item and try and get them taken down. We do have a partnership with Helium 10. They do have uh, alerts on their service. And if you want 50% off Helium 10, just go, go to myamazonguy.com slash H10. You can get the discount code for that. Um, number one most powerful tool on the market to date. Uh, and they can give you hijacker alerts to show you uh, who's showing up on your listing. And when something gets changed, it will show you all that stuff. So we got a big video on how to do keyword research through Helium 10 as well. You should check that video out next. Thanks for watching. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you liked about this video.